Hello, good afternoon, or whenever you receive this. Right, so I figured vlog one went quite well personally, and um, I thought I'd do a second one. Uh, yeah, I went to Tesco's earlier, so I've got to tell you a little story about about my trip to Tesco. So I, I needed some milk, and um, I thought I'd get some lunch as well. And uh, I realised that the sandwiches, that there weren't many sandwiches where they do all the meal deals and that for three quid. So that there weren't much choice, and um, so I went over to the where all the pasties are and that, but there was a load of sandwiches and stuff in the the cheap, you know where they sell the reduced stuff, where they reduce it by like 3p or whatever, that sort of crap. But there was this crowd, no, no word of a lie, there must have been 20 people there. And I walked up there, I, did, I didn't intend to go there, so I thought going there. And um, yeah, they were just going for all of because they were reducing all the sandwiches for some reason. I know they must have been out of date or not in the fridge or whatever. But here was this young fellow who works there. Now, he must have been about 18, 19, not, not very old at all. And he's got the little pricing gun. He's trying to price up all the items, all the sandwiches and that, the like pasties. And people are just crowding him. In fact, they're taking them off of his little trolley thing before he's even put the reduced tags on and waving them at him. Going, how much is going to cost? Oh, well, how much is this? In the end, he just stepped back and folded his arms because there were so many of them. The poor little sod couldn't do his job, and they were just going for it like a pack of fucking animals. And it, it got me thinking how thin the veneer of society is, you know. And you imagine a grid down situation where there's no food being delivered to the shops, or the electric's gone, or or something civil unrest. These people are not prepared, and and going by that display of chaos, that that behaviour which I think is disgraceful they they ain't got preps at home and they're not that way in mind they haven't took any thought into their own personal protection or, or they're relying on the government to to help them if something happened do they even think something's happened they just think it's all going to you know, they're in a big bubble where everything's going to protect them but it's not And I was thinking to myself, I'm just so glad I store food. You know, because if it did all go shit, it's the fan, I ain't got to stand in those crowds. You imagine now, it's only fucking lunchtime, and they're doing that. It was chaos. They were pushing, there was a little granny there, they were pushing her out of the way, people just squeezing in. It was just, it's just horrible. You know, no manners, all the, all the fucking society goes out the window just because something's been reduced by three pence. It's just pathetic. Yeah, you go in there on maybe a Sunday afternoon, you know, just before they're about to shut early. Or, um, or now, lunchtime-ish. Well, it is lunchtime now, but this is going to take a lot of time to upload because my tablet's very slow with it. But yeah, it's about lunchtime now. You go in there at these times. And you'll see what I mean. And people are rushing about in the car park, ain't no fucking better. Right, you're trying to pull out, and people, they just do not let you back out, just just to go. They just fucking just they have to scream past you and break the speed limit in the car park, which is 10 miles an hour, may I add. It's that fucking Audi driver who nearly took my rear end out. He, just, he saw me reversing out, and he couldn't just, I was already halfway out. Uh, it's like what another six inches I would have been out and he just screamed past me like fucking I couldn't believe it no he nearly wiped both of us out I don't care if my car gets fucking hit because it's cheap little Vauxhall Sophia it's not gonna you know he'd be doing me a favour if he wipes it out because I'll get the money I can buy a better car and he wants to wipe, wipe, write out his fucking Audi TT flash bollocks whatever that's his problem so yeah the moral of this is the veneer of society is very fucking thin
Uh, and that's all I'm going to say on that. But you try going in Tesco's or any other sort of shop at this time of day and you'll see what they're like. Bloody animals. Uh, that's got nothing to do with a snake by the way. It's not a subliminal message. I just want to eat my my lunch and talk and it's just too hot to wear that mask at the moment so I thought I'd put Lou on the camera no she's no just wondering why I've got a camera pointing at her but, um, yeah how's the, how's the sound quality on this I am trying out the smaller camera now because I just want to get it ready for the War and Peace show if I get there so I'll take this I'm just checking out why I stopped using this camera I cannot remember I know the sounds not as great nor is the picture quality but for shifting this around it's going to be uh, oh pardon me a lot easier than lugging that family camera around you know I could sort of make a little thing to put around me chest that I can mount it on so you can I can feel myself going around the stalls and looking at guns and picking things up and I ain't, I've got two hands yeah so anyway as I said there's a pony of strings to my bone and what I need now is a bit of audience participation you ain't got to do anything but as you can see I collect stamps hundreds of them there's more than this but um, what I need help with now I was doing a bit of research on the internet as you can see now this is in dollars obviously we've got to convert this to pounds but this is the only information I could find on the internet you look at the price of these stamps now if you look here I have three of them as a block I know they're more valuable as a block now I'm not a stamp expert not at all. I'm merely collecting them just well it is an interest but it's mainly financial gain. They uh, are joined so if we've got any stamp experts out there I'm just an amateur at this you can see what they're going for. It's all set. At 1000 by my adding up for three of them or maybe that's worth more as a block so yeah uh, could someone please help me because I don't know if it's worth getting these valued or I mean if you've seen anything here these are things in here that I suspect are valuable here's a block uh, there's a number there I don't know if they're, um, I keep all the uh, sort of rare looking ones in here, as you can tell I've got loads, but I, I can show you all of the stamps at some point, and uh, maybe you've got an idea, but we've got loads, that we've got, oh, this one, this one with the original thing still on it. But like I said, if you want to see some stamps on the vlogs, just say and you'll see them. But I am really getting excited. I just keep showing you about this. So obviously that money would be quite handy, you know what I mean? I could put some of that into this channel. But any advice would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, so I'll make that the end of this one. Uh, I've had a lot of positive feedback about this uh, vlog stuff, so yeah, uh, I'm going to keep it up. So thank you for the lovely comments. You know who you are. Uh, ooh, it's everywhere today. Yeah, so I don't know too much about stamps. I'm still learning, but you never know everything about everything. Uh, the message from this: don't push people in Tesco's because it's rude. And. Uh, it's just good to have a food store backed up just in case you know because you, you never know what could happen it can happen like that and then everyone's going to be at the door of Tesco's Asda, Iceland, what have you and it's just going to get pushed over it's going to be nasty so yeah it's bye bye from me it's bye bye from me and as they say in the scouts be prepared and I'm out